But today, listen, Zacchaeus realized he needed some answers. He realized there was something missing and he was tired of feeling empty. So you know what he did? He took action. So many times we get those feelings, but yet we sit on them. We get those feelings, we don't do anything about it. We don't go to the next level. But look what he did in verse four. It says, so he ran ahead and he climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was going to pass by that way. Remember, this is a dude with a bad reputation. Any of y'all ever had a bad reputation? Don't raise your hands. Oh, wow, look at all those hands that almost started going up. No, I'm sure every, so, someone in here has had a bad reputation. You've had to uh, live through some things. This dude had a bad reputation, and no one in this crowd was going to give him a break because he was a thief, he was a liar, he was a cheat, and he'd been labeled. But let me tell you something. A label is not your identity. You might have messed up, but you're not a mess up. Somebody needs to hear that. You might have messed up, but you're not a mess up. So many times we live as, oh, I'm just a mess up. No, you messed up. Turn around and go back the other direction. He had to run ahead of the crowd because they probably would have pushed him away. Listen to me this morning. Maybe you've been pushed aside because you got pregnant early, young. Maybe you had an abortion And maybe you're still working through all of that pain and things. You've been pushed aside sometimes. Maybe you've been put in jail. Anybody been in jail this morning? Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. A couple times, a couple times. You know, maybe you've had addiction problems or you've just been from a jacked up family. Anybody got a, no, I ain't asking if you have a jacked up family. Because you might be sitting right next to them. Whoo, that girl is jacked up. Yeah, honey, I'm going to. Take up the offering later. <laughs> because we've been pushed aside, here's what we do. We make excuses. I'm just too much of a sinner. God can never use me. I've had some bad parents or I had a bad upbringing. God could never use me. And I can't believe how, hi- oh, here's a big one. I can't believe how hypocritical those Christians are. There are some hypocritical Christians out there, right? Y'all might be sitting next to one of them right now. That's not an excuse to keep you from pursuing who God's called you to be. Don't let excuses make you miss Jesus walking by. Listen, there was a point when Zacchaeus had had lost hope that things could ever change in his life. Even though he had the money, even though he had the title, even though everything seemingly looked good on the outside, there was still something missing in his life and he couldn't put his finger on it. Can I just tell you something this morning? We got people in this world right now that have lost hope. Suicide is an all-time high right now. Depression and anxiety and addiction are running rampant right now because people are, are, have lost hope and that's a byproduct of losing hope. The Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick. I want to hear, I want to encourage someone this morning. Don't give up. Keep pursuing. It may be hard. You may not, you may not be able to see the fruit of it now, but there will be fruit in the, in the future if you keep pursuing God. 